It is at this Navaholo sub-county hospital where a 36-year-old man arrived with his 10-year-old daughter to seek medical attention for her as she was ailing from malaria. The girl was booked and of course the only kin in sight was the father. Medics allowed him by her bedside. The man had ill intentions. When darkness fell, the monster in him swung into action and did the unthinkable. He defiled his own daughter right inside the ward. A man of 36 years defiled a young girl of 8 to 10 years at Nabaholo Subcount Hospital. This person had gone there to take care of the child because they had separated with the wife. A caretaker in the ward is said to have caught the man red-handed in the act. He raised an alarm and alerted nurses and security personnel at the facility. The minor underwent medical examination and the report confirmed she had been defiled. It is suspected he might have been engaging in the act even at home as he parted ways with his wife and so the two have been living together all along. This person uh, had carnal knowledge with her and uh, it has been confirmed by the doctor that he actually did it. The father had the audacity and tenacity to follow the girl in the hospital and assault her sexually. That's how we came to know about it. The man is in police custody and is expected to be arraigned as the Kakamega County Children's Department paints a grim picture of incest statistics. The girl has been placed in a children's facility. We have ever since placed the child in a CCI, which is Charitable Children Institution, commonly known as Children's Home, where she is recuperating and accessing psychosocial support. Uh, she's now safe, in our safe hands, in our custody, and uh, we are continuing with the counseling services so that she comes back into normalcy. You know, she has been traumatized. The heinous act comes at a time the world is marking 16 days of activism against gender-based violence, vindicating the findings of women and young girls bearing the greatest brunt of sexually related violence. Alamochanda, KTN News.